Diary of Jeremy Hartwood September 27th, 1924 I have decided to keep this diary. Too many inexplicable events have taken place recently. Never have dreams so haunted my every waking moment. <laughs> Perhaps my romantic mind was too dull and has only now woken up to these new paths and visions. Some, seeing my recent paintings, may question my sanity. I can only ask them, what is sanity? Where does madness begin? September 28, 1924 The night is pitch black. I am again drenched in sweat. I was wandering in the dunes, among giant standing stones. They were arranged in a circle, and the wind whistled about them. I plunged my hand into the soil and felt that repulsive thing which was trying to catch me. It seized me. I struggled to break free of its loathsome embrace and managed to tear my hand away. It was covered in sticky substance. I was gripping a knife. October 5th, 1924 the stone circle is a pentacle. Der Seto's library is filled with books on the occult. I will study those books until I find some explanation for the dreams. The visions that haunt me must be connected to my discoveries. I shall have to undertake a profound exploration of my dreams. December 16th Dear God, I have found the knife! It was hidden here, and what I have learned fills me with apprehension. It is a sacrificial dagger belonging to some unholy cult. The thought of that blade tearing through human flesh horrifies me, yet I must continue my research. Der Seto is a storehouse of treasures. Was my father right after all? January 23rd. I spend all my days plunged in dusty books. The servants are convinced I am mad. At night, I awaken them with my screams. The dreams are draining what sanity I still have. I have tried staying awake, but in vain. My visions have changed. No doubt the influence of my father's research. February 7th, 1925. The Dark Man that is what I call him, has revealed his true face to me. He appeared, as usual, near the fireplace, but this time he approached me. His terrible smile will haunt me to my dying day. His breath was ice and his burning eyes froze me. I could not move. I know, as surely as I have ever known anything, that the face I saw, the face that has turned my nights into hellish torture, is the mask of death. March 10th. My exhaustion is beyond description. The endless reading burns my eyes. It seems that pirates frequented the area. Dr. Herbert insists I keep to my bed. I have moved to another bedroom and sleep much better now. The dark man has not gone, however. I know it. He will wait for as long as he must. Unless I, Jeremy Hartwood, can find a way to send him back to whatever hell he comes from. March 11th. My poor knowledge of Greek and Latin is a serious handicap to my reading. I have, nevertheless, made a great step forward. I drew the symbol on the floor. He can no longer go there. I want him to understand that I can do the same thing in my bedroom. I can imagine his rage and frustration. Only last night he found his way back into my dreams. March 13th. The translation will seriously dent what money I have left. I cannot paint. My pictures are clearly the work of a lunatic. The collector Thornhill's embarrassed smile was proof of that. March 29th. 
He has come back. He found the door to my dreams. I am too weary to attempt any defense. I have no strength left to fight, and he knows it. He considers me dead already. Could I possibly? March 30th. How ironic! The cave my father sought for so many years is here, beneath the house. Wait, the butler discovered a crack in the cellar wall. A breeze blows in through it, icy and repugnant. I am filled with horror at the thought of my father dying in this place. I will carry to my grave the vision of his face contorted in the agony of that fatal heart attack. His body was twisted. He had wept. His fingernails were torn and bloody from scrabbling at the floor. Dr. Gray concluded that death had been due to a heart attack. It was Waits, who some time later was informed that my poor father had in fact bitten off his tongue and choked on his own blood. March 31st. I explored the caverns in a dream. The dark man came with me. Strangely, I felt almost well. How can I describe what I saw? No, what words are capable of explaining such evil? I realized that my death was of no interest to him. The dark man wants something else. He seeks a body. His avid servants are now free. I am the cause. <laughs> it is almost funny. A curse is on Dersetto. From the foundations to the very rooftop, I can no longer struggle, let alone eradicate the evil that grips the house. The end is very near. I can feel it. I have taken the decision to... May he who finds this diary pray for my soul. Oh! 